Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. I am actually in the woods today, finally. Woo! Now I know you're probably thinking, Psh, about freaking time. Agreed. Am I spending the night? No. I know. But, um, I am gonna be doing some videos, gonna be cooking some lunch, gonna make a fire. I'm gonna go scout the, uh, I'm gonna go scout around a little bit. This is a, um, well, it said fee at the end of it, but I didn't pay anything. I just drove in, parked, and um, I think it's like a public, it's like a public-ish campground. I'm actually sitting right next to an airfield, which I'll show you here as soon as I show you what I'm going to be doing. All right, so as you can see, I got the truck today, and um, I got a whole bunch of uh, wood back here, so I won't have to go cutting any wood, although I did bring the electric battery-powered chainsaw because I'm going to do a video about with that and go over a couple things and whatever wood I don't have that I don't burn up like maybe this larger stuff here I'm going to uh, just as I drive out I'll just give it some campers say hey you guys want this I didn't burn it this will probably end up what's gonna happen and get it all cleaned out and ready for the uh, ready to go start getting wood I don't really want to burn this stuff in my fireplace all right, so what we got here is we've got an active airfield. I guess the camera's a little crooked. There we go. We got active runway, no active, no vehicles, no camping beyond this point. So, as you can see, nice big clear area, and apparently all along, it's actually drove, I drove all the way to the end, but uh, there was a bunch of people who were out here camping. And that wind is, whew, but uh, yeah. And then, yeah, I just can't keep the camera straight today. And then the truck's just tucked in there. Pretty sure you can see it. Um, it would be cool to see a plane land, but I'm not really gonna hold my breath. You can see the, the mountains there. So we're doing a little scenic guide. Pretty cool, nice view. First time in this area, I've gone, uh, the usual area I go to is much farther down the road, back that way. Um, so I wanted to check this area out myself a little bit, do a little exploring. Gonna do a fire, gonna get that going right away. Uh, Cause I wanna get coals together so I can start making lunch. Uh, I just thought I'd show the runway. It's pretty neat. It's called the Skookum Flats, I think it's called. I'll put it up on the screen for the proper name. I might be pronouncing it wrong. Uh, we have a lot of Native American influence here in Washington, which is why a lot of things are called Snoqualmie, Tacoma, um, Skookum, Nisqually, a lot of stuff like that. So, of course, you get the sun glaring the camera up. No biggie. Want my gloves because I'm gonna go check out the fire pit. See if I need to clean it out first. Yeah, so this is not the fire pit, but it looks like they burned a pallet or maybe a couple of pallets, which means there's a bunch of nails in there too, which I'm sure they didn't clean up. Boy, come on, people. Well, here's the fire pit. I'm not quite sure what the paper is or what they were thinking. I just set my wood on top of it, I guess. This looks like a towel. Dude. Seriously? I really hope they weren't wiping their ass in there. That would be uh, very unfortunate. I'm going to hope that they're not, but I'm also not cooking over open flame. I'm going to be using pans and stuff. So still, just the idea of it's kind of disgusting. Let's get my wood. I 
wood. All right, so I got a trash bag on the ground, which is, I'm gonna try to minimize as much uh, contact with fuel versus, you know, fuel going on the ground as I can, because uh, it rained uh, yesterday and also this morning, which is why there's a lot of water coming off the trees, and it looks like the sun's breaking out, so um, I'm gonna split this guy up. I'll try to, it's got some knots in it. Wow, dude, really? Okay. Gotta love the freaking knots. Sweet. Now I'm going to need uh, got some, I got some cedar bark right, or uh, not cedar bark, birch bark. bark out here. Alright. What do I do with it? Oh, there it is. So I'm going to be using the uh, the Zippo matches that uh, Mark Kratz gave me. I haven't had a chance to use this yet, so I'm going to use one of these big matches. And I'm going to use it to light my fire, or light my bird nest, and see how well it does. So thanks again for that, brother. get that uh, get that fire prepped. 